Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I want to share with you this Ninja Funky DIY. I'm starting off with this really old and stained phone case. Uh, it's a silicone one. I use it all the time. As you can see, it's like stained and has like leftover paint everywhere. But it's okay because I'm going to be painting on top of it anyways. Since I don't have a beige for the small amount of like skin that my Ninja has, I'm going to be mixing some pink, yellow, and vintage white acrylic paint. I'm pretty much going to be making my own beige toned acrylic paint. You can make it darker or lighter, but because the eyes are going to be black, I just wanted to have like some contrast in there but yeah I'm just gonna be painting not the whole phone case but part of it and I ended up painting a lot more than what I ended up using but yeah then I'm going to be kind of like drawing the ninja I'm gonna be using my pencil pretty much like drawing like a line and then an oval shape kind of that gap where the eyes are gonna be I ended up painting the line all across the phone case then I'm going to be painting like that part of the ninja <laughs> I don't really know uh, much about ninjas as you can see See, but I like them. It's gonna be teal, mixing these two, and those are the names of those. Once I have done that, I'm just gonna be painting this line. But yeah, I ended up actually painting the line all across my phone case, so yeah, I just uh, decided to change my mind last. Then I'm gonna be using this piece of ribbon. I'm pretty much recycling right now with stuff that I find around the house, hence the random like uh, color of this one. Using a small amount, but I'm gonna make a knot in the middle of like that ribbon. Then I'm gonna paint this with my acrylic paint, covering the whole thing. And and for the rest of the custom of my ninja, I'm going to be using some acrylic paint, black one, and this tiny brush. And first, I'm going to go around the edge, being really careful not to cover that. And then with a bigger brush, I'm going to be covering the rest of my phone case. I tend to work with eyeshadow brushes, cruelty-free ones, for my like arts and crafts because the bristles uh, tend to be softer. But yeah, I'm just going to be covering the whole phone case, front, back, everything. And this is how I'm letting it dry. And I'm going to draw first two dots where my eyes are going to be. And with with a brush, I'm going to be using the back of it as a huge adding tool, applying two dots for the eyes. Then as I mentioned before, I did end up with a line all across my phone case. I'm going to go with my white acrylic paint and my detail brush and I'm just going to be adding some white where I'm just going to be adding like the rest of my teal. I'm going... That's nice, interesting. Once this part is dry and ready to go, I'm just gonna be using my super glue and I'm just gonna glue it like this on the side. I feel like the space of the eyes is a bit too small and I should have done the like gap or the oval shape a bit bigger. I kind of feel like it may look like a big nose. Hopefully it doesn't. <coughs> and then I'm gonna be adding some gloss with my bigger brush. This gloss that I'm using is by Sculpey and I like using this because it protects the sign. It makes it look a bit better and last longer but yeah this is the idea that i want to share with you i really like it i think it's a really cute ninja it's really fun to look at hopefully you like it if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out more phone cases that i have on my channel subscribe for more let me know if you like this and share it but yeah thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye